Hello, everyone, and welcome to the best and worst of Walt Disney World. I am your host, Rhino Clavin, and in this episode, we are going to be talking about the worst attractions to get stuck on. To join me for this discussion, we're going to have Mr. Charles Boda. Hello. Mr. Steve Porter. Hello. And Mr. Craig Williams back I- there. I don't know why I always address you guys with the Mr. I like it. I don't have anything more creative to say about it. it so. It's the only feel fancy. It's the only time anybody does that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, anyway, we have done the best attractions to get stuck on, um, as you may or may not have seen or heard, whichever, however you ingest this show, that's on you. Um, but we are here to tell you what we think are some of the worst attractions to get stuck on. And to kick us off with this discussion, we're going to hand it over to Charles. Okay. My way, CB. <laughs> yeah. You are CB. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because of the initials in my name and everything. Wow. <laughs> so, actually, if you add my middle name in, it's Cab. My middle name's Andrew. I don't know. Did you know that we were making a, a great movie ride reference? Yes. Oh, but I just <laughs> I, it's a, I figured you would have figured that out like two years ago. We maybe. get it. You sucked the fun out of it. Yeah, that's the <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, CB. Speaking of sucking the fun out of things, yeah. um, uh, mine is going to be pretty much uh, pretty evident to anybody given the subject matter. It's a small world. Getting stuck on it's a small world is just a beautiful kind of tragedy. Where, <laughs> like, so just to describe my last personal experience where I was stuck in it's a small world, I got to think about clowns. Don't <laughs> don't like them. Uh, me and clowns, we do not get along. How about marionettes? Yeah, <laughs> marionettes, clowns, puppets, the entire thing. Um, and so the last time that I was stuck, I was just about to the exit, right about to the exit tunnel. And they have the clowns in the in the white oh, heavenly yeah. room. Yeah. They have the clowns up on the uh, balloons that like raise and lower and raise and lower. And I'm just sitting there <laughs> for like seven minutes that honestly felt like good two years with just a clown gradually inching closer to me and then backing up and then inching closer and I felt like it got like two Scene from two, it got like two inches closer to me each time that it descended to the point where like its hands were almost around my neck before I left <laughs> and um, uh, then you've got that repetitive song um, can't remember the name of it but small world yeah, yeah all right <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, you've got that repetitive song in the background and you've got all the vivid colors and the puppets judging you sizing you up like it's just a <laughs> judging you <laughs> it's, it, 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 listen your mind plays tricks on you if you're in that situation for a long period of time it's but, like being in a rubber room yeah, or something but like that. It, I, act, I love how terrible it is because it is so uniquely like ridiculous the, the song is already you know uh, repetitive to begin with, and then just getting stuck there. Just it feels like somebody is playing a mean spirited prank well, on you. You know how bad it is. This is in Disneyland's It's a Small World, but in 2013, a man was stuck and uh, sued Disney, and a judge awarded him eight thousand. That Disney had to pay him eight thousand dollars for being stuck on it for as long as he did. How uh, long? Because for thirty minutes while they repaired the ride, and he won eight thousand uh, dollars. Thirty minutes is a long time. Yeah, like, but like a... ten minutes. What? What? The two grand? I can't do math, but like <laughs> I, a decent chunk of change. I don't know. It, how it sounds it breaks like down. it sounds know. like a fear factor challenge. <laughs> <laughs> like you go in and you they put you in one place in there and they're like how long can you hold out you know um, i'm not even trying to go against the grain i actually find it therapeutic i really? like the music yeah it's uh, mm. i think it is kind of what charles alluded to the repetition of it it's just it makes it easy going for me well you know what so. you know what i i feel the, kind of the opposite only because let me ask you this how does row row your boat treat you I, I mean, I really haven't dealt with it in probably about 30 years <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> since, well, since I was about one or two, maybe. <laughs> song, I forget what those type, I mean, it's like, I, I, it might be called a rowboat, but it's when you have songs that have that continuing succession, Lamb Chop song. I love Lamb Chop song, but it is, a, and now... It's in my head, but is it's that what the we're song just that torturing each other? No, but with it's like the small world. The is the, the... It's the same type of a thing where it, it, I've 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 written I've read articles about this about how what it is in your brain that gets its trapped there. But small world has that loop in it, obviously, and you don't know enough of the actual words sometimes to complete the loop. So your brain is trying to figure it out. So that's why it rolls around the way it does. And so for me, sometimes it's like you're stuck. Mm-hmm. And so they say if you listen to the song and like if you just play the actual song and listen to it all the way through, it'll 
take it out of your head. It'll help yeah. you do that. So that's a fun tip. I don't know if it works. It could just create a bigger nightmare than Charles's clown story. But mm. um, for me, my favorite attraction at Walt Disney World is actually an attraction that I am. I don't like getting stuck on, and that is Dinosaur at Animal Kingdom. Um, because my thing is, is uh, one of you guys brought it up, it is very loud. They have turned down the volume a little bit. I, I'm not against how loud it is. I j- it's just that if you get stuck in an area where like the meteor is coming down over and over again, I think that's one of the parts they actually recently took out. But it like that noise starts to like your nerves start going and so every one of the it's like it's like water torture you know every one of those hits starts to hurt that much more (laughs) and also you could get stuck in an area a lot of the areas of that attraction um are really 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 dark so even though like if ideally you'd want to get stuck maybe in the beginning when you first turn into the prehistoric area and be like okay well i see some of the more dinosaurs and details here but that's kind of like after that it's so dark in the rest of the ride that you're just kind of trapped in darkness with uh (laughs) dinosaurs growling around you where i'm actually afraid of dinosaurs so it starts to eat away at my fear that's a a nice fear to have though like clowns sadly totally exist and could be around any corner dinosaurs are extinct you you, you have no chance you talk to you talk to john hammond we'll see how extinct they are but (laughs) i don't know have you guys ever gotten stuck on this ride before is it uh yeah i have and and it was in the pitch black and it like it still kind of like rumbles a little bit too so you're just kind of like shaking around in the darkness Uh, okay my (laughs) illogical fear is actually that the dinosaur animatronics will come to life and eat the Taurus as that's as, a more rational fear. yes as Ian Malkin did per, did say about Pirates of the Caribbean but what do you think I've, I've never been stuck on this one oh, but, yeah, well, um, I don't see I don't see any benefits of getting stuck on it right I, yeah I have been paused on Indiana Jones Adventure in Disneyland so same mm-hmm. type of ride vehicle if it's the exact same kind of stop then uh, it's also very similar to one of the attractions I worked at Forbidden Journey, where you can get stuck in a kind of awkward position uh, since it is a simulator on top of a base. And so I know when I got stuck on Indy for, for a brief time, we were kind of like in one of the lean forward positions. Mm-hmm. And I don't mm-hmm. much care for that. So I can see the downsides of getting stuck on it. So I, get, I, get stuck I support you. Toward the end once, too. It was like right before um where the where the iguanodon is kind of holding it up and at first i was like oh that's cool like i get to stop and look at this iguanodon but then it was like the more you look around the more like you're not really supposed to be stuck this isn't one of those attractions where you especially that area where an effect is about to happen mm-hmm. because the carnotaurus's head is going to pop out and so it like also Ow. leaves you it ruins the rhythm of that attraction because that attraction is based on being like we got to get in we got to get out there's a meteor and then you're like and the jeep stalled and i'm dead <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't get out before the meteor. So, but that's just that. Uh, I'm going to save Craig's for last. Steve. Uh, so, yeah, I don't mean to pick rides that I, the, like the three rides that I worked on, but uh, the other one is uh, in the last episode, I said Buzz Lightyear. Oh, wait. But- Never mind, just go. I thought Craig was going to say yours, and it's fine. I was trying oh. to save that one for last, but never mind. I forgot. Uh, forgot. And so the other one of the other rides that I worked on was Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress, and it is horrible. If you've ever been on Carousel of Progress when it rotates, uh, the animatronics don't turn off and the lights don't go down. It just plays the same scene over again, which aggravates everyone in the crowd, and then they proceed to want to get off the the attraction, but that's what will then keep it there longer. So I've been, the, I think Do you the have record. To detain people. Now there's well, that word I've again. Told, I've I've seen people start to get up in the middle, and I've said like, "Hey, the ride's gonna stop if you get out." And then like sometimes they'll be like, "All right, fine." But what ends up happening if they don't is the ride stops because someone got out at some point. And then the ride will stop again, and you'll be stuck. I've, I think the record I had was three times. I watched the same scene over and over and over again because they're telling you to not get out and to stay seated because in order for the ride to rotate, there can be no guests behind the ride just walking around freely. So people but it's it, it's in like an avalanche of a problem yeah, I was just gonna because say, this must cause like a slippery slope because people must start just in the uh, i'm thinking about it in terms of one showroom right people in the other showrooms right. must start doing it too yeah you know? well and so it's like you, people are getting annoyed oh i have to watch the same scene again so then they want to get out and then that's what causes other people then 
to get stuck and then they want to get out and then it's eventually i have seen it where uh they just evacuate the ride they just say oh. okay like this is beyond um and actually one of the angriest uh if you google like angry cast member carousel of progress there's a cast member that's like please remain seated <laughs> because he's getting so aggravated with all the guests it's an interesting video if you want to check <laughs> oh, it out Oh, yeah, I've been stuck on this one before, and Steve is 100% correct, even though I wouldn't expect him to lie about it. But uh, <laughs> it is, that is exactly what happened. My instance, I want to say I went, I stopped for three scenes too. The first scene, we didn't actually, we didn't close. The, in, the gap the entire oh, way. Gosh. Oh, gosh. So part of our theater You could still, see the other... Yeah, we could still see into the other theater. So I'm pretty sure it probably should have just like been a complete stop right there. But it kept going. And then finally we closed up and we're like, oh, no, we're going to keep going around. Oh, no. But then it stopped and we watched the same scene <laughs> over again. And then as Steve said, we had someone get up and walk out. Oh. So then we had it one more time. And then finally, finally we made it around. But it was... It just was so bad. And I, I do love Carousel of Progress. I I literally, if I had time for it, every single time I went to the Magic Kingdom, this is one attraction, like Country Bears and Enchanted Tiki Room. I will go out of my way to do it. But seeing the same scene three times in a row, that's when you start getting like, okay, maybe this is just <laughs> a little bit too much. I need to break it up a little bit. But it is... It is aggravating, yeah. to say the least. Oh, for sure. I, they they need to like create a thing where it's like Rocky Horror Picture Show. So you you know how like people in the audience participate. Like I mean, this is dangerous, but you need yeah, to let's get like, a bunch of people throwing <laughs> popcorn at the stage, throwing right? stuff like that. But I mean, like Doing calling out warp. stuff and like you, like cast members when they're trapped need to have a sheet where they, like so the the guy will start uh, the guy. What's the man's name in that attraction? Father. Father, Father will start. Saying it's stuff and you'd be like, you ah, like that. forget this recommendation, Craig. What's the one you want to get stuck on? I see. I'm going to also disagree with you on that whole statement of the callbacks because callbacks then, that was worth. Then you get exactly what I hate about going in rock and roller coaster, and that's the one over eager cast member oh, who God. has to talk to the screen to Steven Tyler and all that. It's like no, that is that not happened a part to us here. the last time we were on, it. and then and then um, it happened to me twice in California while I'm riding Guardians of the Galaxy last time and you know how I am with that ride and I was just like oh no this isn't your dialogue like you didn't hey, write this some backstage passes yeah like that's a great idea like uh, come on we get it you're here every day and you have to think of things to make make the time go by but sweet Jesus we don't want to listen oh, to yeah. it sorry I'm in yeah, I get that totally. Okay, mine is uh, a bit of a shocker of sorts and that is the people mover. Sorry, I completely you got stuck forgot. On that yeah. thing, didn't you? Because you're thinking about rock and roller coaster with your word choice. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I saw, uh, your, <laughs> I saw your hand moving. <laughs> Wait a second. I love that idea. I have six fingers on this hand now. Okay, so mine is the people mover, and don't get me wrong. There are some really great places to get stuck at on this, uh, especially if you get stuck at Space Mountain while Space Mountain is currently down. Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of like the ultimate time that you can get stuck. But a I... Of dust. <laughs> a lot of dust in that area. Yeah. Well, that, that is true. But my ultimate thing is while I enjoy the people mover and I, I see the upside and the benefits of it, I, I understand why everyone loves it. Uh, I, like... If I want to people watch, I'd rather people watch from the ground. So if you get stuck at any of the exterior portions, you're people watching up from above. So you're basically like you have to go out of your way to kind of look down and be entertained. Otherwise, you're just sitting up there. If the breeze isn't blowing well, then it actually does get rather warm under mm. there. One of the things I hate most is when it originally gets stuck. Uh, almost all the time, you get the the double bumps mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they don't all stop smoothly. Oh, they hit each other? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the oh. bumping may occur. Oh, goodness. Yeah. And that's, it's like one of those things. It's not a big deal. It's not enough to like throw your back out it's just annoying and so if you get stuck multiple times while you're making once oh, your way around once it, it starts to get a little old what? with the bumping but ultimately for me there's just there's not the views 
are great as you're moving along. They're not great when you're just stuck in one area. So maybe this is like kind of a little wishy-washy to choose. It's like one of the worst for me though. It's just, there's, I get stuck on this quite regularly. I think oh. like a lot of people do. Mm-hmm. And there's just not enough to like entertain me while I'm up there. Uh, I'll just, even though I just said the benefits of Spaceship Earth was I pulled out my phone and screwed around on it. That's what I inevitably do on People Mover. I just sit on my phone and wait for wait for the downtime to end. And it's uh, part of what is fun about getting stuck on an attraction is being able to take in the details, being able to take in the, the environment that you're in. And for me, I just don't I, get that at People Mover. I zap your mover. energy a little bit, I feel like, too, being stuck there, but... I'm going to agree and disagree. I think it depends for me in the people mover where you get stuck. So you mentioned if you get stuck in Space Mountain with the lights on, that's pretty cool. I think if you get stuck in front of the Epcot model, I I wouldn't complain about that. There are certain areas of this ride that I think are cool. Anywhere with air conditioning. Yeah. Uh, like over, even <laughs> overlooking Buzz and seeing people play uh, the game, I, yeah. I, there are certain areas that I'm like, that would be co- kind of cool to be stopped there. But yeah, I can see sitting out in the sun with nothing to look at. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's and that, kind of a bummer. And there are times of the day where the sun will be at the right level <laughs> where it's not right overhead and you are blocked. You can get sun hitting you while you're on the attraction. I mean, this is just certain times of the day, like early in the morning before it's completely up or as the sun's setting. But you know it's it can be a minor annoyance with it so uh but you know uh, overall there's there's that's just one that kind of grinds my gears a little bit i'm I'm more on the carousel of progress side well there you have it we've got our worst attractions to get stuck on which were small world carousel of progress people mover and dinosaur that is our list we'd like to hear yours so feel free to leave a comment on this video or tweet at us at the dot diz too and we are as always welcome to um other uh, future conversation topics for this show we'd like that feedback as well and uh, i think that will do it for this episode thank you guys for joining us here and we will see you next time with another episode of the best and worst of walt disney world